This is the Solar PV150 from Seawood, the world's first multifunction PV installation tester featuring SolarLink. It's part of a full test kit that includes everything required to test to IEC 62446. This film demonstrates how easy it is to use the Solar PV150 on a PV installation. First, pair the Survey 200R and the PV150 units. This allows us to view real-time irradiance readings on the PV150, display and store irradiance and temperature measurements alongside our corresponding electrical test results. To pair the instruments, we press and hold the on-off keys on the Survey 200R. On the PV150, press and hold the RPE and Auto keys. Keep both buttons pressed. When the PV150 has successfully paired, it will beep and display the serial number of the Survey 200R. The PV150 is now paired and ready to display irradiance data from the Survey 200R. Now we simply press and hold the temperature and hold keys on the Survey 200R to put it into transmit mode. A triangle will begin to flash, indicating the Survey 200R is now transmitting data to the PV150. The PV150 is now displaying real-time irradiance data from the Survey 200R located next to the PV array. Before commencing any testing on the installation, it must first be isolated. The first test is an earth or ground continuity test. Connect the test leads with detachable crocodile clips to the tester. Link the crocodile clips together and press the null key to zero out the test lead resistance. Connect one test lead onto the main earth or ground terminal on the building. Connect the second test lead onto the exposed conductive parts of the array module or framework. Press the RPE key and there's the continuity reading. Next, open circuit voltage, short circuit current and insulation resistance will be measured. Remove the DC output connectors which come from the DC isolator to the inverter. Connect the test adapters to the tester and connect the other end to the array. As soon as the array is connected to the tester, it will sense the incoming voltage and display the open circuit voltage on the screen. Use the Installation Test Voltage button to choose the correct test voltage for the array based on the test requirements of the relevant standard. In this case, we're using 500 volts. Press the Auto key to begin the test sequence. The short circuit current and insulation resistance tests are performed sequentially. When a measurement appears on screen, the results can be stored by pressing the Store key. If the array under test has several strings, we can repeat this measurement for each string connecting the tester to each DC output connector in turn, taking the measurement and storing the results. Once the test is complete, turn off the DC isolator and remove all the test leads. When the test results have been stored, the recall button can be used to show test results on screen. If there is more than 5% variation between measurements taken on each string of the array, a warning icon will flash on the screen to notify you. To monitor the PV array output voltage while connected to the inverter, we need to insert T connectors between the string cables and the inverter. First, switch off the DC isolator. Then connect the PV150 test leads to the T connectors. Switch on the DC isolator and the PV150 will display the string voltage. Connect the supplied solar AC-DC current clamp to the PV150. Select the current clamp function by pressing the V-ISO key until a clamp icon appears on the screen. Clamp the current clamp around the DC conductor. The PV150 will now display the irradiance voltage, operating current and the DC power produced by the array. Data stored on the PV150 can be easily transferred to a laptop using the USB interface. To start the download, press and hold the recall key. And there are the stored PV150 results on the screen. Solar testing at the touch of a button.